Thank you for coming for the launch of Together to celebrate this and the women of the Hub Community Kitchen. <laughs> Working on this project for the past nine months has been a tremendous labor of love. I had just recently moved to London and I felt so immediately embraced by the women in the kitchen with your warmth. Uh, again, uh, da -da -da -da. in the video provided once before, a hub member states that when she met Nut in January 2018, she told her that she pretty much, um, well, it, it's, um, supposed that Nut flew from the US to the UK for the patronage and that she wasn't in fact living in the UK at the time. Um, then we've also got that photo that I've shown you before of Not Frogmore um, before this this um, event in two, September two, uh, 20, 2018 took place where this is not, that she wasn't living. That's, a, that's evidence that she was not living at Frogmore Cottage. Uh, not Frogmore Cottage, sorry. Um, Keep saying Frogmore, no, um, Nottingham Cottage, not Cot. Sorry, that was meant to be not Cot at that time. Um, and that definitely wasn't not Cot. So let me show you. This video. <laughs> We, we, we didn't expect that, but when she is around us, she's love. So, on behalf of all the ladies, thank you. Without you, it wouldn't have been possible. Thank you for all on our behalf. It's, it's shock. We, can't, we, we, we didn't expect that, but when she is around us, she's a loving person. She's like one of us. She's in the kitchen, cutting things, cleaning. I don't know, it's, it's part of, of love. It's a love, it's a love. And together we did a lot. She's got a big heart, so, you know, it's so, yeah. yeah. And, and she said, I don't know London. I, I, I came from America and I come between you to know more about London. I really enjoy it and we really enjoy it. But that's what it's all about. And she said, I don't know London. I, I, I came from America and I come between you to know more about London. I really enjoy it and we really enjoy it. But that's what it's all about. And she said, I don't know London. I, I, I came from America and I come between you to know more about London. I uh, and then her real second major patronage um, with Smartworks when she did the speech September 13th, 2019. So pretty much a year after that speech had, or that campaign had taken place. Um, she states that she um, either moved to the UK a year before that event or two years prior. So we're looking at September 13th. Let, let's just, I'm going to be exact, even though obviously it's not exact, but we're looking at September 2018. So the same time that she was um, doing the speech where she said she moved a year, sorry, um, where she moved around January the 2018. That speech where she says that, she... Um, she's meant to have then moved to the UK by that point as well. And then if we go with two years prior, that's sem September. And that's so that's after like her fake birth um, of her f first child and, um, 
and in my opinion, and um, and her fake marriage, in my opinion as well, um, in two thousand and eighteen. Uh, so that's not the. No, sorry, I do apologize. It's just the marriage alone. Um, and um, But also she would have conceived by then, um, Fachi. Uh, and what was there? And then two years prior would be September 2017, which didn't happen because um, she was meant to have moved by November 2017 when they were officially engaged um, and there's no real concept like there's no real proof that she was there September 2017 and, and it really wouldn't make any sense as to, as to her being there um, I think she was still filming suits as well by that point or had just finished Let's go to that video now. This is a video also posted by me. Um, uh, previously afraid that um, it was going to be taken down. Was a SmartWorks customer, and that seems obvious to do M&S and John Lewis, which I've worn quite a bit in the past uh, year or two since I've been here, and they thankfully said yes as well. So, you know, um, not can't even remember when she was supposedly meant to have moved to um the uk which is crazy considering a year before that september 2019 event and speech uh would it be even after she was married it's all a big blur to her and nothing seems to make uh have any clear timeline because it's all a fabrication it's just that simple um the monarchy was not blindsided through all these points that I've now shown you up to several points. I have proven to you that they were not blindsided. In fact, they orchestrated Megxit and then created the PR campaign of um, Nut's identity, of Todger's identity, um, of him being angry and him seeking vengeance and being bitter about his mother's death. Um, all a fabrication. It was all too... Um, it was all encouraged through uh, the courtiers of the of the palace that um, Todd and Nat were to take up a new role, uh, and that was her the reason for their contractual agreement with Nat in the first place was for this to all take place and be successful. So now, taking into account all the PR campaigns uh, that their paid plants have tried to convince you of, like. Bauer, like Dan Wooden, like all the mainstream media, um, all the alternative media, all the YouTube accounts. Um, this is all public information. Ask yourself why no one else has exposed this. And it doesn't have to be this full. It could have been just a question. It could have been just um, one point that was made here. Um, it could be any point. It doesn't even have to be what, what's included in this post. Um, it could be any question raised publicly about this narrative and yet nothing, not even in America or Australia or UK or Canada has, has been um, publicised and um, a, a discourse opened up. So that's it. Thank you so much. Um, I will just quickly go to the um, the last 2020 annual report just in case it's taken down, showing you those grant monies um, and all the details about Travelist, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So um, I just want to put that through as a disclosure um, to protect myself but also to protect, um, protect this theory in case that – uh, report is taken down. Straight to um, the points made about Travelist. Uh, this year, a number of programs set up by the Royal Foundation became strong, as this is the one that I showed you before. Structural review, following review into the structure of the foundation. 
the Duke of Sussex's Travellers Program, which was set up to support more sustainable tourism, was transferred to the Sussex Royal Foundation in December 2019. This is about the grant. The grant uh, for the um, Sussex Royal, £145,000. The grants that made up $151,856, oh, sorry, pounds um, for the travellers also listed. Discontinued operations relates to the Duke of Sussex's Sustainable Tourism Program, which was transferred to the Sussex Royal Foundation on 18th of December 2019. Let's have a look at discontinued operations. Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe you've seen it and I haven't. Yeah, I'm really not sure. Unrestricted grant was the Sussex, Sussex Royal Grant. Oh, what? I don't know. I'll send you the link to that. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. Okay. The conservation, conservation funds help to convene sector leaders and strengthen collaborative working in the field of conservation. Indeed, in the Conservation Fund is a fund for the United for Wildlife Task Forces, a fund for the Earthshot Prize, and a fund for the Traveller Sustainable Tourism Program. What? So included in the conservation fund is a fund for travellers. So we're not just talking about then funds from the Diana Fund or no, no, that was to Sussex Royal. Anyway, interesting. A payment of £44,901 was made in January 2020 to the Sussex Royal Foundation in part settlement of the remaining funds held by the Royal Foundation in connection with the Duke of Sussex Traveller Sustainable Program. That's very interesting. Why don't they list the date? In part of settlement of the remaining, yeah, 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 funds held by the Royal Foundation in connection with the Duke of Sussex's sustainable program. A final transfer of 6955 was paid on 17th of April 2020. God.
As I said before, basically by 2013, the Royal Foundation took over the Diana Fund by uh, operating it. Um, it was meant to give grants and um, do charitable activities under the Diana Fund, um, but that they that was ceased as part of this restructure for Megxit, and then funds all of those funds for the the actual money from the fund was then used just as a payment to um, nudge through these these companies um, and uh, also through to um, the air so fifty fifty. On 18th of December, an agreement was signed with the Sussex Royal Foundation, by which the Royal Foundation, which they are meant to say the Royal Foundation, means the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, now the um, Duke and Duchess, of, well, Prince and Princess of Wales, um, intended to grant half of the net future um, proceeds received by the Diana Fund, um, to Sussex Royal in March 2020, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced that they would no longer be operating Sussex Royal as their primary philanthropic vehicle in the UK, but it still continued to operate. Um, and accordingly, their share of the net income will instead be donated to another charity of the Duke of Sussex's choosing. That just m makes me um, feel like they were then um, trying to permit publicly the funding of both companies and, and the money transference from UK to US. While well, they're all UK companies, but you know what I mean, like while they're operating in the US. So in line, the closure agreement that saw the Royal Foundation assume control of the Diana Princess of Wales Memorial Fund, the endowment was transferred to unrestricted funds on 31st of March 2019. The endowment was transferred to unrestricted funds, funds on 31st of March 2019. Okay, so that's even before the supposed restructure took place. Yep, so we've gone back to the start. And you'll see just probably one more thing to bring up is the really I'm pronouncing it wrong. Ah, uh, here. It's just interesting that they don't name the the hubs um, community kitchen um, campaign. They're very very vague about it.
That's weird. In July 2017, the Royal Foundation leased an, an office in the... Okay. Including the programs targeting violence and the Empowering Communities program, which continued to support families who had been affected by the Grenfell disaster through grant funding to a community kitchen in West London. See the vagueness there? Really, really odd. Anyway, that's listed there. But that remember, that was just a two-year patronage um, or grant funding from the Royal Fan Foundation. It didn't transfer over to Sussex Royal. It was still coming from the Royal Foundation and would end in 2020. So I think that's it, um, guys. Thank you for your patience. Um, I appreciate uh, you having to absorb this and um, I respect your own journeys and um, maybe your own discoveries here. Uh, please support me by following um, and sharing this video and sharing my videos and, and the information that I present. I think it's important that um, at least there's truth out there um, and that we can work towards that at least and have an open discourse. If you have any more questions regarding these findings or you're, not, you're finding it still just too overwhelming to understand, please just um, put in a comment below a question and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Um, I'm pretty active with um, talking to uh, the community that follows me, so um, be sure to just uh, comment and I will more than be happy to help. I am very direct with my answers, usually speaking, not because um, I'm... I'm uh, yeah. No, there's nothing personal about it. It's just that I, um, I'm just very direct with um, the answers. If you're going to ask me a question about something, I'm just going to be very cutting with um, the answer provided. Um, so I, I also hope you understand that, that it's nothing personal, nothing about that. It's just the way I, I respond because there's so much information that I'm processing and that I'm having to get out there um, that I'm just, I just try to... Um, cut the crap and I just um, I'm quite direct thanks guys so much um, please share please get the word out